He's saying hi to everyone. Oh, hello everyone. <laughs> it's the Olive and Alana show. What do you want to say? What do you want to say, Olive? Say that we are going to see your friends. We're going to go out for coffee at Buffy. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um, yeah, Olive just woke up. It's Friday afternoon. Nope, Friday before lunch. We're going to take a little drive. I'm going to listen to my second episode of Steezy, Stevie and Cezanne's The Good Life podcast. Well, hopefully Olive sleeps in the back of the car. Um, and we're going to go meet Liv and Eli. Are they your little twin friends? Yeah? We're going to go meet them and obviously their mom, Sarah, for some lunch. And this weekend is um, unknown. We don't know what we're going to do, so stay tuned. In case you guys were wondering, the lip I am wearing is MAC Morning Coffee Liner with the Tom Ford lipstick in 58 All Mine. So I did mostly lip liner all over my lips and then just patted the color in the center just because it's super pale and I feel like it would wash me out. So I kind of like this combination. It's like a nice 90s color. Don't know what to wear today. It's kind of muggy slash touch of coolness, but more warmth. Should be a weather presenter. I'm really good at describing the weather. Um, if you're wondering where this shirt is from, it's from Uncle. My friend Allegra Louise uh, owns a company. You probably already follow her on Instagram and YouTube. She has amazing content. I will link her down below if you don't. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to wear this knitted kind of midi skirt from Zara. Don't know what to put with it though. I wish I had like a cropped white sweater or cropped gray sweater. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I didn't even wear the skirt. I decided to go with this dress that I actually found at a thrift store. I believe it's monsoon though, but I got it for five pounds. It's kind of more boho, so this is the outfit of the day. Just made it to Bothy here. Oh, someone's not happy. Okay, did you just wake up? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, mama's coming. It's just a baby fest here at Bothy. We have Eli. Liv, <laughs> you know your name, and Olive! Hi! Hi! <laughs> we just came back from Bothy with the twins and Sarah. Hey, Sandy. Do you need to go out for a wee wee? Yeah? Olive slept the whole way home and a little bit at the cafe, so you are ready for a little feed, aren't ya? You love the camera. <laughs> Sweet little lamb. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just gonna actually get changed because I think we're gonna go back over to Sarah and Paul's tonight for steaks because Paul picked up some sirloin and you're gonna have a bath with the twins. <gasps> so fun. Ow, you just slapped my boob. Ow. <laughs> Just got some goodies in the mail. This is from Pureology. I love Pureology. I basically only use them and Kerastase on my hair. This is the Beach Waves Sugar sugar Spray. Interesting. Sugar spray for color treated hair, perfect. And this is the Shine Bright Taming Serum. Definitely need a taming serum because my hair is frizzy. And then Declacor, Declior, Declior. I'm gonna go with that. Um, sent some face skincare products. Uh, this is a micellar water, which I'm excited to try because I'm almost out of my cleanser. This is a, what is this? I can't even see. Mm, fresh skin hydrating light cream. This is a hydrating wide open eye gel. This is Skin Perfecting Hydrating Sleeping Mask. Ooh, that'll be good. And Soothing Oil Serum with Essential Oils. I'm really excited to try that because I feel like if my skin looks good, then I feel good. Same with my hair. Do you like music videos, Olive? You gonna dance? <laughs> Whoa! Yay! <laughs> Sandy trying to steal the thunder. <laughs> you shaking your booty already? Uh-oh. No twerking with daddy there. <laughs> I decided to change my outfit back to the gray skirt. Um, didn't have it on today, but I thought I was gonna wear it. And this is a warehouse knit sweater. It's a little bit tighter, but you know what? 
Embracing the mom bod. Mom bum. Serious. Anyways, nice and neutral. Oh, look who's hanging out. Look who's hanging out in their nappies. Olive and Liv. And then Eli is just the man over here, aren't ya? Yeah? Are you the cutest little boy? Sandy, give Eli a kiss. Over here. Give Eli kisses. Give Eli a kiss. Over here. No? You don't get it, do you? <laughs> so we are just back from Sarah and Paul's. Had such an amazing dinner. It was just so nice to hang out with them. They put the twins down uh, probably around 7.15, but Olive had her bottle a little bit later and then just honestly chilled on Patty's lap for most of the dinner and for the rest of the time, so she didn't go to bed till we got home, which is about 8.30, and I thought she'd be a little bit off because normally she's in bed for seven, but she was like in such good form, just like smiles and chilling, so she's now sleeping because she's probably so tired, although it's probably good she was up because she had a massive, massive nappy, like it stunk, it was so bad. Anyways, um, we're home now, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and just hang out with Patty. I said his name so weird, Patty. <laughs> Patty. And um, by the way, it's not P A T T Y. A lot of people think that. I used to think that, like St. Patty's Day. I always thought it was T T Y, but it's actually D D. St. Patty's. Maybe that's just a North American thing that we do yeah. T T, but it's definitely a D D. He's P A D D Y. Just to clarify. Um, I'm gonna do my gradual bronzer slash tanner that I do at night, and it's the Bondi Sands. You good? Did you think I was calling you? You're <laughs> It's because you know how everyone calls you Patty with a T? Who does? You know how people comment saying, oh, Patty. And you're like, it's Patty. It's P-A-D-D. Yeah. See, over here it's St. Paddy's Day, right? Yes. I'm pretty sure in Canada, I'm pretty sure it's St. Patty's. We get it wrong. Olive face. <laughs> it is an olive face. Anyways, um, I'm gonna spray this on. It's the Bondi Sand uh, Everyday Liquid Gold, Gold Gradual Dry Oil. Smells incredible, like so good like coconuts. And I love it because it honestly dries so quickly. So a lot of like gradual tanners tend to be like a lotion and they have that little, you know, funky smell where this one feels like that nice coconut oil that you put on to tan outside in, but it dries, like you don't feel oily. So I'm gonna put that on and call it a night, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm so out of it. I totally slept in this morning, even Olive did. She slept until 8, 8.15, and then we just brought her into our bed, and I was just so tired still, <clears throat> excuse me. So Patty just brought her into the other room and you know, carried on, and I just slept in, which was really great because I needed that. So I needed that. Slurring my words, I'm still tired, I think. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get ready and bring you guys along with me for foundation. I'm gonna wear this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation. Uh, I was given it a while back, like I think five months ago. I think I got it when Olive was born, to be fair. And I've only just started using it. And I have natural and warm natural, so I'm gonna mix them. Warm natural is a little bit darker, has more of a warm undertone, so more of a tan undertone. So I'm gonna pop that all over. And then I'm going to put natural right in the center to blend it in. To blend this all in, I'm actually going to use this MAC brush. It doesn't have a number on it, does it? Oval 6. I know, it's super OG. I've not used this in forever, but I like it for cream foundations, like thicker ones, because I find um, using like a beauty blender or beauty sponge, they don't blend out as well. I don't know if that's just me, where this kind of keeps it in place but evenly distributes it just because of the density of the brush so i'm just smoothing that out it's actually really easy to do and i've been loving this foundation for the past week or so that's all i've been wearing on my face and i really like how it sits i'm taking this new concealer from charlotte tilbury it's the magic away liquid concealer and this is in the shade four I'm gonna just pop this on any little friends or red spots that I just want to diminish. I really like this concealer. I actually don't love it underneath my eyes. I prefer it on blemishes or dark spots. I feel like it really conceals well without making it look cakey, but under my eyes, I just don't think it sits as well personally on me. Maybe on someone else, but I just prefer it as a 
coverage concealer. Now for under my eyes, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Instant Age Eye Eraser, and this is in 06 Neutralizer. Love this concealer for under my eyes. I just feel like it does its job, and this color is new. They came out with new shades, and this one's really great for brightening your under eyes. Now to set it all in place, I'm going to use one of my favorite setting powders ever. It's the Matte Maker from Maybelline. I think this is a universal, nope, sun beige. Amazing. This stuff works incredible if you have, incredibly, if you have um, oily skin. And I just put it in areas that I would tend to get oily and just setting under my eyes very lightly. But oof, this is definitely, hands down, one of the best powders to prevent oiliness throughout the day. I'm taking another favorite, my Too Faced Chocolate Delay Bronzer, and I'm using it with my favorite bronzer brush, which is the Sigma Soft Angled Contour F23 brush. It's really nice. Oh, hello, sun. Just gonna kind of stipple that onto my cheekbones. Give me a nice little contoured look for today. I always push it up and out, like right into my hair, because. Ever since having olive, I feel like I'm slightly balding right here, so I really get into my hairline. <laughs> Not balding, that's a bit excessive, but like, you know, losing hair, hair loss. Blush, I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy blush, just a nice, ooh, if I can open it, a nice neutral colored blush. I'm going to go over the entire thing, tap it off, and then just hit the tops of my cheeks. A little bit on my eyes as well, just to bring it together. Highlighter is NARS Fort de France. Love this highlighter, it's amazing. I'm just gonna take a little bit here. I feel like it is best applied with a brush. It doesn't actually look that pigmented if you applied it with your hands. Um, so just take a brush and really blend it in because oh, it's so pretty. I'm also gonna just take it down the bridge of my nose. But not on the tip of my nose today. On the top of my lips, though. And inner corner of my eyes. Quickly, I'm going to do my brows with Benefit Goof Proof in number three and Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Biggest pet peeve is makeup on my lips. I feel like they just disappear whenever there's foundation or concealer on them. Better. Also, another little trick with this clear brow gel is putting on any baby hairs. Whenever I worked for Anastasia as one of their trainers and pro artists, my boss actually said he used it on like any little flyaways because it's so good and it just keeps it in place, almost better than hairspray. So I have a couple flyaways right here from probably going too blonde slash like broken hair, not flyaways. Um, so this keeps it in place. Mascara is next. Guys, I just received this mascara in a PR package. It's from YSL. Normally, I'm not too fussed with mascara. I have a couple of my favorites and that's it. They work for me. Benefit Roller Lash, um, Maybelline, is it Maybelline Sensation? Or Par Paradise Lash. Those ones are great, love them. But when it comes to high-end mascaras, not really fussed because I feel like I have good drugstore ones. Anyways, was sent these ones from YSL and they are the Volume Effect um, Lift Curling Wash Mascara. <laughs> Anyways, it comes with a primer. I haven't used a primer in so long, so I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna do one eye first, just to show you, because it's insane. So I'm gonna do a quick coat of the primer on one lash. One eye, not one lash. <laughs> okay, so the primer's on. There's two different colors here. There's like a dark violet color and a black. Um, love both of them. I think the violet is really fun if you want something a little bit different. It's not super noticeable. Oh, it's super sunny at the moment. Um, but if you're in the sun, you can just like get that glimpse of violet, which is really pretty, especially if like hazel or green eyes. That would look unreal. I'm just gonna stick to black today. This is what the wand looks like. It's like a little bit of a curve and it's quite thick. Like it's a pretty thick wand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start coat like, oh my goodness. This mascara is just out of this world. It seriously is. Like, I didn't even curl my lashes before this. Do you guys see that? That is one coat, one coat of primer, one coat of mascara, compared to nothing. Didn't even curl my lashes. Is that close enough for you? Like, insane. Didn't even know I had that many lashes or that they were that long. So, 
massive fan of this mascara. We'll link it down below for you. How was it? How was your nap? Was it good? Yeah. You excited for today? <laughs> Need my little assistant? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Continuing on with this a really cute distraction. So that's my mascara on. So good guys. I'm going to keep it pretty simple today. Like I'm happy with this. I'm just going to wear a lipstick. Which, ooh, what lipstick should mommy wear? She's just, <laughs> oh my goodness, your face is so cute. Um, I'm actually going to wear a liquid lipstick so that I can kiss that little cutie face. Um, what color should we wear? You know what? I actually haven't worn this in ages. It's the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte 1995 liquid lipstick. So I'm going to pop this on. Mm, it smells good. Yeah, it's like a nice brownie color. Okay, makeup is on, hair is done. Now I just have to go get dressed. I am wearing the Luxie Hair Extensions in the Seamless Collection. They're a little bit flatter to lay against your head, which is great. And it's in, what is it, Blonde Balayage, but I have purple shampooed them really lightly just to tie it in with my color a little bit better. But yeah, now we just have to go get dressed. Did Daddy dress you today? Yeah? You look so pretty in pink. You do. Oh, Sandy, you gonna come with us? You look really handsome too. Thanks, do have my shoes? Nope. <laughs> They're sandals, I mean slippers. Action. Um, this top is from the Zara sale. I am wearing my girlfriend uh, denim jeans and Dunn's Dune, Dune sandal, Dune. Dunn's. Dune, Dune no, sandal. Not Dunn's. Dune. And Oliver Bonas little gold hoop earrings. Very nice. And the lipstick. They already know. Do they? 1995. I did my makeup for them. Ah. So we've come to the red door for some lunch. Here with Patty, Olive, obviously Sandy, and Jane. Look how cute it is. Literally on an Irish mountainside with sheep. So beautiful. It really is. Do you love it here? Do you love it here? <laughs> oh, gorgeous. And you got your hair done today, Jean? I did. It looks really lovely. Kellyanne. Kellyanne. <laughs> oh. We see something we never see. <laughs> is Mummy picking up Sandy's poo? I do pick it up. I've We've never it. seen this. I always pick it up. You normally just leave it. Oh, it's like you're giving her food, Patty. Look at all. Look at she's still going. Oh, she has somewhere diarrhea. Here. Somewhere here. <laughs> Olive. Hey, Olive. <laughs> Is your bow a little lopsided? <laughs> oh, you cute little lamb. Sandy, come here. Coming for a big feet. Come here. Big girl, sweet dog. Over at Babushka now for a little Ooh. afternoon. I guess chill time, got a little treat. Pretty good. Is it bath time? Yeah! She loves to splash, don't you, Olive? Yeah! <laughs> Can you show everyone how you splash? Oh. <laughs> Changed my outfit just to a simple white t-shirt and this Zara skirt. Patty's wearing the same thing. Are you wearing that clone? Uh -huh. Bleh. Channel. Channel bleh. Oh, Channel so blue. good. One of my favorite smells for a guy. Um, where's the light? Changed my lipstick to a more muted color. You know, toned it down a wee bit. But yeah, I'm excited just to relax and enjoy some quality time with my bub. Bub. My bub. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna sign up now. Um, because we'll be late when we get back and then we'll just hit the hay. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. You like it? Yeah, I do like it. Yeah, I like it. Do you not like that perfume? It's strong. It's very vanilla-y, isn't it? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Sunday. We're in a rush as usual. Ooh, I can get the back of my hair. Did I curl everything? Anyways, we're on our way to church. Um, oh, you're not here to do my OOTD. 
Anyways, I'll show you a better one later on. I'm wearing this top from Misguided. It's like a little button-up peplum. And then my favorite culottes from Topshop and my Carvella heels. Really awfully shown, but uh, I'll get Patty to show you guys later. We're in a little bit of a rush. Beautiful day out. I'm gonna take you guys with us, obviously. Um, I felt like I wanted to make something really healthy for dinner. We went out, as you guys know, to our friend's house last night, and they made this really good, like, uh, it's eggplant, but they call it aubergine, aubergine over here, um, with like couscous and olives. Yeah, there's olives on it <laughs> and raisins. It was so good. Um, and I was just inspired as like, Patty, like we need to like make something super interesting and healthy tonight. So hopefully that happens because normally on Sundays we eat out or we get takeout and I want to try and be a little bit better. So hopefully that will work out today. Quickly before we head to church, this is super, super bright, but okay, here you go. So this is the mascara that I wore yesterday, but in violet, you guys know how I said it comes in two colors and it's very subtle, like nothing too dramatic. This is the Tarte Lip, lip Paint, liquid lipstick, lip paint, um, in Party, the birthday color from Sephora. So keeping it very neutral and yeah, minimal today. <gasps> Do you want to say that you should be sleeping but you're not? <laughs> Good thing you're cute. Yeah. Good thing. Is it cash only? No, the machine's not working. Oh, is it not? Okay. Well, we're in Castle Rock at this place called The Meat Box, and apparently they're known for their burgers, is it? Um, I think just everything, mate. I think everything. This is Paul, for people that don't know. Uh, <laughs> and little Eli. <gasps> Eli. Hi, Eli. Oh, he's a good boy. <gasps> Hi. Oh, nice lipstick. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> and baby number two is Sarah. No kidding. <laughs> Is Liv. I like your mustache. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Such a sweetie. Right, Alana, your outfit off today. <laughs> the commentary you bring is Sorry. really nice. Oh yeah, this is just the outfit from far. Your chillots. <laughs> Patty Norma doesn't like these style of uh, pants but because they're super loose it kind of looks like a skirt so like right now they look like a skirt well no they don't 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 very nice thanks thanks babe and olive's outfit of today it was mummy's outfit when she was a baby and i dressed you you're welcome <laughs> just made it to the kite festival at muzzenden temple where patty and i got engaged yeah. hey Huh? Again? <laughs> and, fun fact, I'm now going to Italy with these guys. Awesome. <laughs> End of August. Hi, yeah. Chip. To do her sister's uh, hair and makeup, which is really exciting. So, poor Patty gets to miss out, but Olive and I are going to Tuscany. Patty and I got engaged right over there. That's where he popped the question, people. That's where he asked me to be his wife and basically told me I'm never leaving Ireland. <laughs> Uh, what, what are you gonna do? No. Okay, on your marks, get set. Patty, that's not fair. <laughs> Look at him, try to. They're gonna hit someone. Watch out for the dog. <gasps> oh, shoot. The dog. <gasps> oh, shoot. The dog. <gasps> oh, you're <laughs> So we are not recently home. We came home and took a little family nap and then uh, went out for a long walk just around town. Uh, Olive slept for all of that, which is good because she didn't really have a nap today, so she really needed that. She was passed out. We just bathed her and she is now sleeping. She was definitely a tired baby. You know how I said we wanted to make something healthy for dinner tonight? Well. It's not not healthy, it's just not very creative. We're making omelets. <laughs> Earlier this morning I was like, ooh, I feel inspired to make something kind of healthy for <laughs> dinner because of our lovely dinner last night, but we're just having omelets. Do you want tomato in yours? Um, maybe if you like grilled the tomatoes first. What? Okay. No? Yeah, and then I can add the... Like a wee bit of salt and pepper? To it. Yeah. Do you want to chop it? Yeah, I don't like. I don't care if it's not an omelet. Like, I kind of like it when it's like scrambled. Yeah, finely chopped. He knows. I have this thing with like vegetables. They have to be so finely chopped. Like, I hate chunks of vegetables and like eggs or pasta or like chilies. Like, I love them finely chopped. And you're the finely chopped master. So much Thanks, babe. 
not sure if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. I might just end the vlog here because I am not doing too much tomorrow. I'm gonna kind of start to pack and sort out what I need to bring to Canada because the rest of the week is pretty busy and I'm just seeing one of my good friends tomorrow and it's just gonna be a chill day um, and I have to actually film because I'm away for two weeks and I need to pre-film but in Canada, I'll be vlogging anyways and I really wanna do a meetup with you guys that's a really good angle. Um, I really want to do a meetup with you guys, so I need to organize that this week. Yeah, probably before you come, like just myself and Olive. Maybe that would be stressful. Maybe I need to wait for you. We'll see. Um, but yeah, the rest of the week is super busy because on Tuesday I go to Dublin for an event. I actually might vlog the rest of the week in like a separate vlog because I go to Dublin uh, for an event slash meeting on Tuesday. Wednesday is, um, ooh, I'm getting a pamper day, a mommy pamper day. I'm going to a spa to get a facial and a massage. So excited for that. Um, and then I'm gonna just start packing and everything and then my aunt and uncle return from Europe late Wednesday night and then I'm taking them around the North Coast and Belfast probably again Thursday, Friday and then we all fly out super early on Saturday. Well, not super early, their flight's at like 1.30 in the afternoon but we have to drive to Dublin which is like three hours. So yeah, it's gonna be a jam-packed week so I'm gonna vlog that in a separate vlog um, and I'm gonna film my favorites because I have a lot of favorites at the moment. I know it's like halfway through August by the time it will go up, but but better late than never, right? So, um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot going on, but I'm excited. Also, super last minute and random, uh, I know you guys heard me say that I'm going to Tuscany, Italy, and it's actually gonna happen. Like, we're gonna go, well, just me and Olive are gonna go literally like the day after I return from Canada on the 25th. Patty unfortunately can't come because he can't get more holiday time because we go to Florida later this year in Amsterdam. So, um, yeah, my friend Sarah, her sister, her younger sister, is getting married in Tuscany, Italy, which is just dream. But they have been having such a hard time trying to find a hair and makeup artist in Tuscany, Italy, because it's at a villa that they're getting married. And it's just like, they overcharge like insanely and they don't know if the makeup's gonna be even good or if the hair's gonna be good. So basically for the price of just the bride getting her hair and makeup done would like be the whole cost of like my travel stay doing the hair and makeup like for everyone kind of thing so um they were just too shy to ask me i was like yeah i'll come <laughs> like for sure and they're like oh my gosh this is amazing so uh i think we're like booking flights tonight so i'm so excited like such a dream i would love to go obviously with patty but it's only going to be a four-day trip but i will definitely vlog that experience as well too because Oh, it'll be really exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and help a sister out. Um, like if you do like these types of vlogs. I feel like I'm getting more into a rhythm with them because you guys are always asking to see what we're up to. And some days are super boring and super real life and just chill. And then other days are a little bit more exciting. But you know, it's just our life. And we're, we're pretty happy with it. So we're happy to bring you guys along with us. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.